fans here on TikTok. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. What else do we have here? Hi, guys. We are going to talk a little bit about stuff today. Surrender our money flow. How to get into it. How to get it's really how to get out of your own way and get your head out of your own ass, basically. That's what we're going to do today. Just for a little while, because I do have a um, free training that's happening on YouTube in about one hour um, about the same topic. So I just came in to kind of like say hello and talk a little bit about some of these pieces with you. See where you might be feeling a little stuck. Um, and just having a conversation about what does it mean to surrender? What does it mean to trust? And how does that all fit in with manifestation and money? How does that all work? Um, and can you easily do that? And what does it take? Like, what is the mindset around that? And what energies must you have? And this is really... Um, you know, it's really kind of for everybody, but I find like in my particular practice, I do a lot of work with healers and coaches um, who are also in, you know, monetizing their own special gifts and helping people and helping the world with what it is that they want to share. And, you know, that's, um, that's really kind of like monetizing your soul gifts, but how you make money when you do that and, um, you know, how can you, how can you make money and how can you create it? How can you manifest it when, um, when you feel as if there are other things that are holding you back, right? And so how do you get over the push, 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 pushing, forcing energy that some people have when it comes to manifesting, um, which actually creates you know, when you ever had that point where you're you're manifesting something and you're manifesting like so hard that nothing comes through, right? So how do we let go of those reins? How do we let go of that so that we can open up the flow and actually allow all of those things that are coming through for you that you are manifesting and creating? How can you open and receive them? How can you allow them in? So hello, hello. Uh, come on in. Say hi. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the mindset techniques that you could use in order to be able to unlock the flow, what it means to kind of surrender. I mean, you've, you've heard of that before. Like how many people have heard, oh, just surrender, just trust. Um, that's been kind of like a theme for my clients over the last two or three months with um, them manifesting more clients, manifesting more business, um, just manifesting anything really, new job, new career, switching. And um so a lot of them are like, Elizabeth, I don't know how. Like, I hear it before. I've heard you say vape enthusiastic. Enthusiastic it says it's hard. Yeah, and there, and it's not like it's, is it hard or is it that we just really don't know how, right? And that was the big thing with her in particular. She was just like, I know I have to trust. I know I have to surrender. I know I have to get out of my own way, but I don't know how. How do we do that? And so in order to be able to understand uh, trust and surrender, and a lot of people have a different kind of uh, perspective on it. For some people, it's really easy, right? Um, for others of us who are in business and, and self-employed self or, or, or an entrepreneur and you're working on your own business and you're trying to attract clients and you're trying to um, make more money and sell yourself and get out there, you know, it can be a little bit more of a challenge, you know, especially if you have like things like goals that you're trying to set and meet and, you know, focusing really hard on them and then you realize um, at some point in time you're focused and you're doing all the work and you're doing all the actions and nothing is happening so what do we do when nothing is happening and that was kind of the theme for these last two months that i wanted to just kind of share and a part of that is number one it's all about 
mindset and it's all about your energy. And if you don't know me, I do come from a more energetic perspective. We do a lot, a lot of higher dimensional um, work, um, soul aligned work. So we're really soul alignment coaches and how to use that energy and your source, whatever that may be, um, to align more fully with that in order to um, reach the people that you're meant to serve and to make the money that you want to make. Um, so just to give you a little bit of a background, when I first started, I couldn't sell a $25 program. Like it was, then this is like 20 years ago and there was no, you know, mainstream online thing like this, but it was really hard for me to sell $25 in a group program because I didn't really understand the whole concept of what it exactly is that I was doing. I'm like, I'm waving my hands around, I'm doing energy work on people and I'm expecting them to pay me 25 bucks and I didn't understand the concept of what exactly it is that we were delivering and then over the years we really kind of figured that out. So I went from $25 sessions now to serving people who are kind of like myself in $20,000 packages. So it's really kind of a mindset and a perception of what it is that you do and how it is that you're transforming other people's lives. So how do you um, basically surrender and trust in yourself so that you can open the flow to more money? Um, Hemorrhoid F. Hey, can I have a general reading for Madison M. We're not doing general readings today. We're talking about surrender, trust, flow, and opening your alignment and more money, opening the flow to more money today. Um, general readings, I actually charge for. So we're going to talk a little bit about these concepts. So anywho, so more or less, like if you're in the position where you have an actual um, business or you have you know, you're, you're working, it doesn't even have to be a, like an energy healing business, any business, right? Um, promise Michelle, do you do fertility? Um, and how much I don't do fertility, um, as a subject. So long story short, like I had a client who couldn't get pregnant, who after working with us did get pregnant, but she didn't come to me because she was trying to get pregnant. Um, it was just one of those happy coincidences that she did. So not really, and I don't actually know a fertility expert to refer you to, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so we're really kind of heading back into flow and alignment. So the first thing about surrender and trust is number one, un uh, realizing and identifying the fact that you actually have power, right? That you create with your mind and that all of the thoughts and your feelings either push your boat up the stream or sail it down the stream. And it doesn't matter where your boat is in the ocean at the moment, it matters of how you are sailing it. So you have a choice to sail it in either direction and that um, includes with your energy, that includes with your mindset, that includes with um, your perceptions of what is happening throughout your entire life. And what happens when we're sitting on this boat and we want to sail upstream, but we find ourselves actually sailing downstream, we have to kind of look at the pieces of where am I holding on to tightly? Where am I attached to an outcome too close to the vest? And where am I um, accessing things like lack and fear? No, Biddy, no, no, welcome, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you, hello. Um, so where are, where are we doing that? Where are we going into lack? Where are we going into fear? Where are we, in essence, closing off the energy of um, abundance to us without even realizing it, right? Because we do this all the time. So. You know, whether you're manifesting a job or a relationship or a new partner or new clients, it's all the same concept. The concept is, is am I heading into this manifestation, we'll call it that, you know, this thing that I want to create with a, a mindset of lack, an energy of lack, or am I um, holding on too tightly? Am I too close? Am I too attached to the outcome, which will then strangle it 
and then not allow for flow to come in. And they're, sh they're my guys are saying, like, show them like visuals. So we're very like visual oriented. It's like show and tell here. <laughs> so like say, let's say we have like this pen and this pen is like your flow of abundance, right? And let's imagine just for a moment, this pen is like giant, okay? And we just only have a pen here. Otherwise I would use something, maybe we use a candle here. All right, this is our flow of abundance. And it's really, you know, it's wide and we can receive and allow everything in and it's perfect, right? But then we do things like, oh, I have to make my numbers this week. I have to make, you know, 15 grand by the end of the month or, you know, things that are poor or bad are going to happen. Like, I'm not going to be able to pay my rent. I'm not going to be able to make, pay my car insurance, all these things. Like, so I have to, right? I have to make this money by this point in time. Well, that's like taking your flow and now strangling it and making it smaller and smaller and smaller because you're so attached and you're putting so much energy on it. And then when you do that, it closes off the amount of flow, the amount of abundance that can actually come in because you're so focused on it actually not being there. So whenever you focus on something um, of the opposite of what it is that you want to create, you're still creating the opposite. So if I'm focusing on it's not here, it's not coming in, there's no clients, there's no money, there's no nothing, and I'm not going to meet my goals, and I'm not going to, right? So you keep that cycling in your mind over and over. All you're doing is closing off the energy to flow, right? And then you'll hear somebody like me or somebody, um, a coach or somebody on TikTok going, you know, surrender, allow, trust. And you'll be sitting here going like, I don't know what that freaking means. What does that mean exactly? I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing. And then we come in and we say, surrender and trust. And like, okay, so what does that mean? That means take your fucking hand off the abundance jar and allow yourself to actually receive by starting to take your sailboat and sail it in the other direction. Right. So it's kind of like, here I am. I'm going to trust that all of my work of pushing my boat in the right direction is going to open the flow of this. And then I'm going to actually receive because I'm focused on what it is that I want to create and not what it is that I don't have right here in the moment. Right. So the first thing around that is number one, check your fears. Where are your fears? Are your fears on it's not happening or are your fears on it's coming? Or is your fear on here it is, I see it, I'm focused on positive things and I'm not going to intentionally put my energy on something that is negative because I know that this is the outcome of that, right? So when you also surrender, you know, you might even go like, oh, you know, whatever your source is, God source, higher self creator, whatever, you know, help me surrender. Well, that requires you to pry your hands off the top of the jar, right? And then keep them off, right? So that's part of the surrender piece is not being attached to the outcome of what is happening. It's being pulling those hands off of there and keeping this center open so things that are coming in already for you are actually flowing in. Um, and then you do that by connecting, connecting deep within your own essence, your own energy, your own source, whatever that is for you, and getting getting things like um, asking questions like, what do I need to do to take my hands off of that, right? So I had a client who... Um, she was really wrapped up really tight and we did like this meditation and she came in and she's like, okay, after the meditation, she's like, I don't know if we've like done this correctly because my source is telling me, you know, that I should go walk my dog. Like, how is that going to make me any money? And I'm like, well, that's perfect because you can't strangulate the shit out of your abundance flow if you're out in nature enjoying beauty and not holding on tight. So that was her way, her source's way of taking her mind and her direction 
off of the strangulation of the flow of abundance by opening the energy. That's how she opened the energy. It's really warm in here. So if you're kind of stuck in that funk of where is my stuff showing up, the first thing I would invite you to do is, you know, be conscious of the fact that you're probably strangulating your flow of abundance by all of the attachments and all of the ways in which you're seeing things that are not there. Big step, right, is to have that awareness of, oh, crap, okay, this is what I'm doing. And then step two is, is how do I let go, right? How do I let go? How do I surrender? How do I trust? Um so the second piece would then be you can you can do things one of two ways. If you're intuitive, you can actually go into a meditation, tune in and ask and you'll get like some funky answers. Things like go shopping, go have lunch with a friend, go and walk your dog, go ride your bike, go do other things. The whole weirdness about it is like, I'm not asking for that piece. I'm asking like, how do I attract more clients? How do I make more money? And I get these weird answers. The weird answers that you get are the signs that you were holding on too tight. And all of those activities distract you from holding on so tightly to the things that you were trying to create that it's basically like walk your dog like visually right we're like this walk your dog allows you to go like this to release the attachment off the float get your hands off of everything stop trying to control everything stop pushing forward and stop making things try and happen right it's like i'm doing 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 i'm throwing this offer i'm throwing that offer i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm i'm doing it's all right there in the verbiage of doing right you're doing being is allowing the flow to open on its own and how do you do that that's how like that's how like Things miraculously happen. Like when you're out walking your dog, you're just having fun. You're just being present. You're not focused on lack. Well, you shouldn't be focused on lack, right? You don't want to be walking your dog and then thinking about all the things that you have to do when you get back. You want to be really present in what you're doing. So you want to start walking, you know, and just let it go, right? Just drop it. Even if it's for like 20 minutes, just drop it for like 20 minutes and just let it go, right? And then walk your dog and be present with your ride and have fun with it. And then you'll notice that when you get home, you might have left like this, right? But when you get home from walking your dog, you might be like, oh, okay, I'm not attached anymore. My energy feels better. You know, everything feels a little bit more flowy. How do I keep that in motion? Nope, nope, nope. We are human beings, not human doings. Exactly, exactly. And the, the piece around alignment with that is it's kind of like if you don't open the flow, right, then source, God, creator, whatever your preference is, can't send you the stuff that you're asking for because you're not open to receive it. And it kind of looks like this. So if you're closed like this, I'll use just crystal. Uh, if you're closed like this and here comes your manifestation, all it's doing for visual sake here is this. Boing, boing, boing. Can't get in. You're not receiving it. You're not allowing it. It's I'm trying to send you the stuff, you know, let go, right? Until you take your hands off of it, that's when it can come in. But we're not, we're not. We're focused on being too attached to the numbers, too attached to meeting the goals, too attached to launching this, launching that, putting that out there, doing this, doing that, you know, in order to create this thing. And we forget that if, you know, especially if you're energetically sensitive, we forget that, you know, there is a flow, there is a rhythm, there is a frequency that we access when we start um, doing this type of work. And back in the old days where we were, you know, doing was actually a, a way in which, you know, people sold and were very successful, energy sensitive people are going to find that that way is not going to work for them. It's going to close off the flow. You're going to get more frustrated. You're going to get more angry and you're just going to be like, I can't do this. You know, it's too much, right? When all that's being asked for, thank you, all that's being asked for is for you to let go. So there's, um, there's an example my, my guides want me to, um, convey to you here today. Um, and <laughs> this happens to me probably like two or three times a year. And if you're an entrepreneur, I'm sure that you absolutely understand this. And it's, I go through this process a couple of times a year of where I quit. 
Like I, I, ca I don't catch myself in that pushing, 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 pushing. Like I don't realize that I'm in it until I quit. So I get to this moment where it's so frustrating and nothing is happening that I go, I quit. This is it. I'm done. I'm not doing any more coaching. Don't send me any clients, blah, 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 blah. Well, what happens is I went from this, right? Because as soon as I quit, what happens? My inbox lights up like freaking fire, right? The reason why that happens is because I'm like this with all that frustration and anger. And then I say, I quit. I'm not doing this anymore. And I take all my hands off. So once all of that comes off, then it's like, whoosh, everything just shows up um, unexpectedly out of nowhere. Like right? I have people referring other people. So the last time I quit, um, you know, I was just so attached to making money I had a what was it I had a, my son's tuition bill or something to pay and I got like into panic state and I didn't realize I was there and it was like push 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 and then I finally said okay I quit and then like boom I booked $27,000 in two weeks right because it took my hands off of the wheel so to speak so we're going to be talking a lot we're doing actually a very um Free training today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on trust, allow, flow, manifestation, more in detail about some of these pieces that we just talked about. Um, I did a live stream today on my bicycle. I actually literally recorded a live stream while I was riding on my bike, and then I went to a park, and then you get to see my face. But up until then, we talked about this whole concept, and it turned into like this 40 minute free training. It was just like one of those things I was just so in the zone and in nature. It's just like all this stuff just started coming out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we just did a whole free training. So we did that this morning at 10 a.m. And I, the sound wasn't really great. So I remastered it and I increased the sound so you could hear a little bit better. And then we're going to replay it uh, this afternoon at 3 p.m. So it's about 40 minutes from now on YouTube. It's set as a it's set as a premiere, I think is what it's called. So what that means is, is um, it will launch itself at around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But there is a chat room there that I'm going to be live on. And talking to you, if you if you want to participate and you want to talk, you want to share about all these points, there are some um, more tips and more tools and more just kind of concepts of how to work with money, how to work with manifestation, how to open more to the flow and some of the mindset pieces that are behind that. So if you'd like to join us there, um, feel free to either hit my YouTube button in my bio here on TikTok. I think that will send you to YouTube. But if it gets all wacky crazy, just go to Instagram. I have my Instagram there. And um, you can you can DM me for a direct link if you need it. But you should be able to find it there. Um, so that's all I really wanted to come in and just talk a little bit about today because we're going to do the whole free training in like 40 minutes. So if that's something that you want to explore, it's absolutely free. It's on YouTube. It's going to stream there. Um, so just come and hang out with us. Um, other than that, you guys, I hope you guys are having a magical week and that your September so far is going really, really well. Um, for the energetically sensitive, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster, but I hope you're you're getting over that now. And maybe I'll see you on YouTube. Um, I'll look for your name. Say hello if you were there and let me know you were on TikTok. Talk to you later, you guys. Have a great day. Many blessings.